did you know that marriage is not a reward for abstinence or celibacy? It's just something you should be doing in this season of your life that God has called you to do. He's called us to consecrate ourselves, to be set apart, and to not defile your temple. Um, I don't date. I don't want to date. I don't desire to date. And the reason for that is I don't want to create multiple bonds with different people. And I don't want to have a bond with any man, whether it's emotionally, spiritually, physically, all across the board. I don't want to have any bond with any man that's not my husband. That's not for me. We um, have to not make marriage a idol and focus on the the things that God has called us to do so that we can grow spiritually and be closer to him. And um, abstinence teaches you a lot because when you're abstinent and you meet someone else that's abstinent, you guys can grow in love and God is love. And so you're not building a foundation off of lust. Lust and perversion, if that is the foundation that um, a marriage is built on, it will not it will not stand. Every time a storm comes, that house will be torn down because the foundation is faulty. Um, growing in love is so much better because if you fall in love, you're going to fall out of love. Falling in love is dangerous and it's, it's not what God wants for us in his will. Um, in this season, I'm in my exodus season. I done left Egypt. I'm in the wilderness and I got the law. I know what I need to do to consecrate myself and to obey the Holy Spirit. And a little part of me used to look back in the past and look back at Egypt, but I don't look back at Egypt because I see the promised land and I'm in my waiting season and God's called us to wait. And um, he is our waiter. And every good, every good uh, leader, which is God is our leader, he leads us. You see leaders, any good leader, they serve their people. And so, in this waiting season, I'm realizing he's serving me so many different things while I'm trying to consecrate myself. And by serving me, serving me rest, to rest in him. Serving me as far as with my building my character and serving me as far as me growing in my spiritual gifts. And it's so hard in this season for me because I know I need to wait because I do not want to enter into to the promised land and not be a good steward of the thing, very things that I asked him for. And so this is just a vent to anybody that's going through a waiting season, whether you're waiting for marriage, a career, a breakthrough, to see where God is you know, trying to take you. Just wait on him. Um, it increases your faith. Um, it helps you to persevere. It makes you one of his strongest um, soldiers because it teaches you how to deal with spiritual warfare. Um, and just enjoying learning and obtaining knowledge and wisdom so that you can have understanding uh, so that you're able to overcome and conquer so that when you get to your destination it's gonna be good so i just wanted to vent this morning because my heart is a little heavy and i know god got me i just need to just rest in him rest in his word rest in his promises and I know everything will be okay, but God bless y'all and I know everything gonna be okay with y'all too.